Hi, hello and welcome. I'm definitely not Control Alt Cory, and you're watching me pug my way to 3k rating on a Fire Mage in Dragonflight Season 3. Today is the weekly reset, so we're going to go check out our vault, see if we got any myth pieces that we want to use. I didn't do any Amirdrasil because honestly I just didn't have the time or the willpower really to do it because it takes quite a long time for mediocre rewards. I already got the biggest things I could get from there other than like the on-use damage trinket from Tendril, which I don't really care about too much. So we're going to check out our vault. I'm going to show you what my gear looks like right now. There's not many changes since the last episode. I'm going to show you what clears I've done in the meantime. And then we're going to try and get some 21s and 22s cleared on Tyrannical because we've done our fortified week quite well, I think. I'll show you. Anyway, let's get into it. First, Vault. Seeing as I am pretty geared right now, I uh, really only need myth upgrades for like, I don't know, tier pieces or something. That could be pretty cool because I've got a lot of crafted gear. I got a lot of hero pieces. We get a sea star, we get a belt, and we get a regal loa. Hmm. Well, this would be nice for our, what's this thing called? Fire, uh, blah, blah, blah. Jesus, flame strike build. What am I even saying? The myth belt, I have a, oh, it even has a socket, but I have a crafted belt. So there's not much reason for me to grab this. The sea star has versatility. Again, this could be nice maybe for our flame strike build, but not having the control over when we get our intellect is kind of meh because if it frocks outside of combustion, it's basically wasted. Let me be honest with you. So I'm actually thinking about just grabbing a socket because I don't really care about my flame strike build. I've already got haste versatility rings crafted. The upgrade of three extra item level from having them on mythic or on myth tier i really don't care about that the belt doesn't do anything for me let me just check if i need yeah i need sockets on my wrist so i'm gonna grab the socket i know that the sea star doesn't outperform the balefire branch especially not once i upgrade the balefire branch completely the only reason i'd take uh the trinket would be to be able to upgrade actually i don't think i'd even be able to upgrade eh, i would be able to upgrade the balefire branch a few times to 483 which instead without using socket or not sockets without using crests so I don't think that that is worth it. Anyway, we have the Aspects Token of Merit. Ugh, my dumbass didn't buy that. What key do we get? We got a Waycrest Manor 21. We're going to try and do that right away. I just need to go and buy this Nature's Cradle. We're going to slap this Nature's Cradle onto our wrist. There we go. That'll give us an extra socket. And we will put... What do I put? I think we put Mastery Haste Gems in there. Dream Surge Coalescence. Thank you. That is very useful to me. I think that's Zen Neltharite. 19k for a bronze one. What the heck is going on over there? Oh, that's Mastery Versatility. Keen Neltharite will be haste and or mastery and haste so we're gonna grab that let me actually take a look here we've got mastery haste here what's our mastery at or haste at 5.5k so i cannot sacrifice any haste that is also with a uh whatchamacallit it's a howling rune which gives me more haste so i really cannot lose any haste so i can't replace any of my gems that have primarily haste with the ones that have primarily mastery the reason i want to do that is because for the uh ignite build which we will be running for the tyrannical keys we really do want more mastery i'm sitting at 3.5k not too amazing i do have a good chunk of haste and i have a good chunk of versatility too honestly what i should probably do is recraft these to haste mastery might actually go out and do that but that would be a good chunk of gold actually if i'm recrafting just for stats hmm yeah if i'm recrafting i don't need to make the whatchamacallit i just need to pay the commission i don't actually have to make the uh thingy thing with the stuffy stuff what's it called oh my brain is just not cooperating today the enchanted aspect crest right because i already have one in this item i just need to recraft it to haste mastery because i would like to drop some mastery and get some more mission sorry i would like to drop some versatility and get some more mastery anyway so first things first happy valentine's day as i'm recording this it is the 14th of february so it is valentine's day as i record this the video is going to come out on the 15th but let's just pretend that it's the 14th so I switched my <laughs> my transmog to something more, I guess festive is the word to use. I don't know. Celebrating Valentine's Day just feels weird, but I feel like I should make this a thematic thing. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, as far as gear upgrades are concerned, I do have some worm crest upgrades that I did to my gear. No other changes really got made. Maybe a few aspect crest upgrades, but now we're sitting at 480.56 item level. Pretty happy with that. I feel like I'm comfortable completing the series with that. I will still keep getting upgrades, but I don't feel like I need to keep getting upgrades. So now if my DPS sucks, I have to blame the tank. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It is partially my responsibility to make sure I do good DPS, but it also really helps if the tank can actually group up enemies. But that's more about fortified, which was a struggle, let me tell you. But speaking of struggles, I managed to complete some 21 keys last night before the reset. That was definitely a struggle because there were a lot of people trying to like get themselves carried through 21s. There were like people with 459 item level trying to do 21 keys for their vault. First of all, just do a 20 or an 18. You'll still get myth gear. Like sure, you'll need to upgrade 
carried the one from the 18 a couple of times, but don't brick people's key and waste their time. I, I don't know. It was, it was really weird to me that people would try to do that. Like, just do an 18. <laughs> just try to do an 18. It's a lot easier to carry someone through an 18. And for me, it's not easy to carry anyone because I barely carry myself with my fortified DPS, honestly, because it's just very hard to perform on the fire mage for me personally. And also because bunk tanks don't really give a shit about your DPS. They're just trying to survive and get the pull done. They don't really care about optimizing your DPS. And Spiteful forces people to kite. Spreading out prevents you from really doing any really good damage with the flame strike build, which I was, which is what I was running. But yeah, besides the point, we have some really, really good runs. Actually, we had a deathless Atal Dazar. I did record it and commentate it. Now I'm trying to figure out what the heck to do with that footage because I want to only show videos of what I do this week in this episode. So I don't know what I actually do with that footage. I'll have to think about it for the future. Probably not going to do anything with this specific footage, but I have to think about it for the future. Anyway, we do have 21 clears, Everbloom, Murzon's Rise, and Throne of the Tides. I didn't manage to get into any groups, so. The rating is kind of lower there, but it's not a huge deal. It's just about 10 rating per key that I'm missing. So it's not going to be a huge effect on how much rating I can get this week. If I play my cards right, I could finish the series this week. That would be really, really crazy. So we're going to see if we can do that. For the Tyrannical week, I want to run the Ignite build. I think I've already switched to it in my talents and I'm just ready to start blasting. For Trash, I am going to do, well, Trash DPS, but on the bosses, I'm hoping that I get to really shine. In general, on Fortified, my overall was also pretty meh, but on bosses, I always did decent DPS. So I'm hoping that with longer boss fights and with them weighing in more on your overall damage, my overall damage will also go up and hopefully I won't look like I suck anymore. Well, not just look like I suck. I kind of sucked. Hopefully I won't suck anymore. I think that's what I'm looking for. Anyway, that's pretty much it regarding the gear and the clears. One more thing I wanted to talk about before we actually get started with the episode today and with the clears today, I wanted to ask how you guys feel about the format of the mage series so far. What I'm specifically referring to here is how do you guys feel about me let's say doing a 10 key doing a couple of 10 keys in an episode and then in the next episode I have all of the keys for that week done on a 10 and then in that new episode I push up to a 15 do basically 115 key and then in the next episode I have all the dungeons cleared on a plus 15 and the same thing for 18 and then 20 and I tried to do it for 21 but failed to because it was just too hard to, and to push through not enough groups not enough time all that how do you guys feel about that I'm asking because I got a comment from Milk Mall 20, who is now a longtime community member. They've been around for a long time, at least since the Shaman series, maybe even the Paladin series. So quite a few months at this point. And they say that they just don't feel like they can follow along with the journey right now because I skip so much of my rating gains between episodes that it feels like I'm just not really showing the full journey. They're not that interested in it. That's what I'm gathering from their comment. Do you guys feel the same way? Because the comments getting a few upvotes, likes, whatever you want to call it on YouTube, thumbs up, whatever the heck. And I can definitely understand why people agree with Milk Mall. I just wanted to give some context as to why I'm doing it, I guess. The Monk series lasted for 54 days, and that was 25 episode in those 54 days. That is eight weeks of me playing the Monk. I do not mind playing the Monk for eight weeks. I do not mind playing any character for eight weeks. That is not the issue. The issue is, for the YouTube channel specifically, the longer a series lasts, the less growth I get from doing the series. The vast majority of new viewers and new subscribers that I get come from the start of a series. And I kind of get it, right? You take a look on YouTube, you see a thumbnail, you see a title or whatever, and you see that it's episode 24 of a series, you're probably not going to click on that if you've not seen any other of the other episodes. Because there's 23 other episodes to watch before you can actually watch this one with the full, probably full needed context for it. So I understand why people don't want to join in the middle of a series or near the end of a series or whatever. I completely get it. But I also have to keep in mind that if I want to make this a full-time thing, I have to make the series shorter so that I can continue the growth of the channel at a pace that makes sense for me to even try, right? I'm also keep in mind mind, the later I get in the episodes, the higher keys I'm pushing and the higher keys I'm doing. So the more time it takes for me to actually record and edit these episodes, the later I get into a series. But the irony is, the more effort I have to put in for those later on episodes, the less views I actually get for them. So you can see why I'm trying to like fast track myself to these last episodes where I actually finish the series while still offering you an insight into how it is to actually push up these keys. Like I'm pushing up my rating. I'm doing keys that I haven't done before yet, right? Like I'm, I'm never going to do a key higher than my max clear on a recorded video. So if I've only cleared a 15 key on a, on a video, I'm not going to do a 16 or higher key off camera. So yeah, I just wanted to know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's a horrible idea for me to keep pushing in this format? Or do you guys want me to go back to the old format where I just showed you pretty much every key and only really farmed crests that are quite a few key levels lower than what I'm actually clearing right now. So let's say if I'm doing 20s, I can do 16s to just get some crests while I'm not recording because I, of course, don't want to 
ostracize people that already watch the channel just to get new people that are going to watch the channel. That That is not in my interest. So I'm trying to find some sort of balance. And if you guys have any ideas on how it might be better for me to work it out, I'm all ears or eyes, I guess, because I mostly read your comments. I don't really talk as much. <laughs> anyway, very one-sided conversation if I'm just going to speak. Anyway, 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 I think it's time for us to get into the first dungeon. What key was it that I got? I already forgot. We got a Waycrest Manor 21. That's going to be interesting. I'm hoping I don't get jagged nettles. If I do, I'm hoping that the healer can heal me up quickly enough and that I have the pensive ready for it. Anyway, into the Waycrest Manor we go with our pink outfit. Getting ready for our 21 Waycrest Manor. That took a, huh, quite a while to put together. We're going to use our shield and activate the key. The shield, I mean uh, the AoE shield, the mass barrier. I'm going to resummon Danny, because starting a Mythic Plus key dismisses your pets, even your, like, hunter pets and whatnot. I'm going to help the Paladin group these up. We are running the Ignite build. So we're going to be focusing on spreading our Ignite. So we do Pryo damage with the Ignite build. Our overall is not going to look too amazing. I don't mind, uh, though, because I really only focus on the boss damage. We have an SKB ready to use on the next group. I'm going to use it on the Captain because he's the highest HP. And there we go. Double Pyro right there. We're going to spread our Ignite to the Big Lady. Then we're going to hard switch to the Big Lady. we use our Shifting Power. The Volley's coming through. I'm going to finish my Shifting Power. Then I'm going to interrupt her. We're going to drop our Meteor here. And then try to use our instant casts to generate some SKB stacks. Should be casting fireballs here. I'm kind of messing up my rotation. Hard casting now. So I was hoping somebody would interrupt that, but that works. The Saurians are coming through because these guys kind of died on top of me. The soul Volley's coming through. I'm going to focus on interrupting the Soul Volley because it's AoE damage. I forgot about these uh, tornadoes, honestly. It's going to be raging soon. No, they're going to be raging. So my CC is going to be useless when they're low HP. I'm trying to interrupt that. I couldn't interrupt that, so I'm going to have to do this manual spell removal or buff removal. We're going to interrupt that drain essence. Not doing too great on the DPS front, but honestly not too bothered by it. Uh, another bouncy fest week of getting bounced up into the air. Somebody could interrupt that. That would be very nice if they did. I have aggro on this character for some reason. Tank is not even here. Hoping somebody interrupts that. Okie dokie. Nice. I'm gonna put a focus on the Briar sister and we're gonna get started. Double bloodlust, drop meteor, and combust. I'm going to try and interrupt when we are able to. I am just now realizing that I have an SKB ready, getting my ass kicked here. I'm stunned for forever, basically. Trying to get my SKB cast off. Should be switching to this sister. Let's do so. Into shifting power because I'm out of instant casts, and then I'll interrupt the Briar Bolt once I'm done with that. I'm going to decurse myself because I feel squishy. I'm going to AoE shield here, hard casting at the Malady sister still. Okay, the thing is switching over to the Sister Briar. Still trying to get my instant casts through. Jagged Nettles is going on one of the Paladins. They can bubble it off or they can just be tanky and heal it off. I don't know. We're going to combust during this and start spamming our hard casts. Or do our do our hard cast during the hard cast. Do, or do, do our combust during the hard cast? What am I even saying? I'm so... I'm fumbling all over the place. We're switching back to this sister. Still have a long combustion going. I have another SKB ready. Soul manipulation going out on this person. We're going to try and blast them. They're going to have to get dispelled because I'm critting them like crazy. I'm just going to kick something, anything. On the sisters that do not have the cast. We're looking at this one. I'm going to have to dispel ourselves. I'm not hitting anything because I really don't care about hitting the ones that um, aren't currently active. Because if you hit the ones that aren't currently active, they will take no damage. Even when there's no uh, single sister active after you 
I've killed one, right? So there's no reason to actually hit that target. So far, we're feeling pretty safe. I'm going to decurse myself again. They are claiming the iris. There we go. Shifting power. I have a combustion available. We're going to hard cast a fireball. And just to get these combustions out. Another one is going out on a paladin. We have a SKB. We kind of wasted some hot streaks into it. That's okay. There we go. She's gone. I'm looking at the captain here. We're going to put a focus on the captain. I'm going to look at the this disciple. Why do I look at the disciple? Because the disciple actually has an interrupt that, I, that is very high priority, which is the silence. If we don't interrupt the silence, the healer could be silenced. I'm going to look to CC it here. Right. There we go. And now we hard cast at the disciple. Can't wait to get out into the courtyard. It'll make life a lot easier for us, because we don't have to worry about these tornadoes. At least the tornadoes are a lot more noticeable on my screen than the little shitty things on the ground. There we go. We're going to switch to the captain. Trying to interrupt that. I'll switch to that captain, in fact. I'll use my shifting power here, recover some of my combustion cooldown, and hard cast into the captain. Use a combustion. Blast the bejesus out of these guys. I'm going to save my meteor. Actually, frick it. I'll use my meteor right here. Wasted my interrupt. It overlapped with someone, but there's nothing else left to interrupt, so I don't mind. Should have maybe held my SKB for until we have some hits ready to do. Oh, that is a lot of casters that you have just pulled, my friend. I'm not sure about that one. Looking for the next casts. I'm going to try and knock them back, like so. I'll interrupt that one. Trying to tunnel damage into this one. I'm kind of a little flustered because this is my first key of the day. I should be using more fireballs, I guess. I'm too used to the flame strike build where I have a bunch of... My hard cast got interrupted. I need to just use ice uh, flows every time I have a hard cast that I have to do. I don't have a kick for that. Okay, we have the matron brindle. I'm going to put focus on something that isn't Matron Brindle. We like Matron Brindle because that means we get the hard tunnel of very high HP targets. So I'm going to use my shifting power here. I'm going to start blasting with a combustion. I'm going to interrupt that in the background. Got interrupted by the Paladin, one of them. I don't know which one. So I kind of wasted my interrupt. That's unfortunate, but what can I do? Still just tunneling the crap out of Matron Brindle, because there's no reason for me to hit anything else, right? Like, I just beat the crap out of her, and that's good. Hard casting at her, and we're gonna drop a Meteor after that. Okay, now it's just clean up these small little mobs. We're gonna go for more, and I'm guessing we want to have Bloodlust for the big guy. Makes sense to me. Okay, I'm looking at the Palette Gorgers. We're going to interrupt one of them, hard casting my Pyroblast here. I have a combustion going. That's nice. Thank you, Priest. I have the shifting power while my combustion is off cooldown. I don't actually like that choice, but it's it's what is what it is. It is what it is. It is. Sure is, bud. I'm going to intentionally keep this one alive. Nah, I'm not going to be able to do so. Yeah, I just didn't want to waste my combustion in a way. We have a peasant, a pallet gorger. We're going to look for the pallet gorger. We're going to drop this meteor here. I have an alarm going off on my phone. That's annoying as heck. I'm going to silence it and go back to actually playing the game. I'm so sorry, team. And to use a shield here. Don't want to use my big defensives in case we go for the boss soon. I'm going to use my uh, personal lust here, and hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass. I just need to remember to actually use my shifting power more often. Like, as soon as I can, just so I can get that lust off cooldown. We have the steward here to tunnel into with our SKB combustion. We have the little maggots. I'm just going to ignite cleave them down. Spread ignite to them.
And I'm just going to save my SKB cast for these guys over here. You can use an AoE shield here where they're being... Oh, we have a steward. Or we have two stewards. Okay. A combustion hard cast here. And I'm just going to tunnel the steward. I'm going to put this down here because that's what they're going to stand. And by this, I mean meteor. Trying to get a little bit further away so I don't have to worry about... I'm just going to cast my shifting power because I want to lower my uh, cooldown on the bloodlust. I really want to make sure we have that bloodlust available. Wasted one of my fire blasts fire blast there. I was focusing more on my commentary than I was on the actual gameplay. I'm going to spread one more time and then we're going to try and get a scorch out of these guys. So I spread the ignite from the lower HP one one more time so that I make sure that I actually spread it to the other steward. And then I switch to the other steward and try to scorch the lower HP one so I get scorches out of it while focusing my prior damage on this one. I'm going to let the tank keep going. We're going to do this boss it would seem. Okay. We're going to just keep fighting the pig. We're going to keep fighting the pig. Okay. We're going to hard cast here and use combustion during the hard cast. I probably should use it later to really get the most out of my combustion, but hopefully it doesn't matter too much. Scorch, Scorch, Pyroblast, Pyroblast. <laughs> I like that tech. Scorch, Scorch, Pyroblast, Pyroblast. Wasted some of my instant casts here, but that's okay. We have a PI going through, so we have our SKB enhanced. Shifting power here because I'm out of stacks and I want to lower the cooldown of my combustion because I'm nervous about actually not having combustion available. Okay, just going to focus on some filler. Cast these fireballs until I get my combustion ready. Wasting some crits here. Okay, I'm just going to switch to this. Hard cast at him. Freeze him. Spread from him, switch to big guy. Focus on that. I'm gonna cast my combustion. I have long combustion available. I'm gonna drop a meteor after this scorch. I'm gonna cast these. Oh, I don't wanna get hit by that. I'm gonna blink. I don't care. Wasted some of my combustion blinking away, but I'd waste more of my combustion if I kicked the bucket. The bucket will not be kicked. I refuse to kick the bucket. Get the bucket away from me. Is this undead? No, it's a humanoid. I can sheep one of those. I always thought those were undead. I should have been sheeping those way sooner. Shifting power yet again. Freezing these guys. I'm gonna spread my ignite from him. Trying to blast these guys to shit before they reach the boss. Okay, tenderize. I need to get out of that. Just gonna use our ice flows so we can keep moving. Should be making use of alter time here. But I'm always nervous about not using it or not getting a chance to use it and being forced to teleport into a really shit spot. I'm going to do invis here because I'm being targeted by these guys. And we have a hard cast and a combustion available. We're going to do so. No instant casts available, unfortunately. Not really many of them, at least. We're going to just keep focusing the boss here. I think we can kill the boss before these guys matter. Just spreading my ignite onto these guys. We have a hard cast available. We're going to freeze them after the hard cast. Okay, he's doing the tenderize, which means he won't actually consume a meal. That means we can just blast him. I don't have to worry too much about it. And that's him dead. We have our bloodlust available. We're going to go do the Goliath with the bloodlust. I'm quite happy about that. Doing okay on the DPS department, it feels like. More mage food in case someone wants it, needs it, or whatever. I might need it. And let's get started. Bloodlust. Okay, double bloodlust. Good point. I was talking so much about it and then I get started and I don't even use it. What a dumb dumb I am. I'm gonna blink. Thankfully it's on me. I love it when it's on me as a mage. I'm gonna do shifting power here for the stacks and I'm gonna hard cast my pyroblast and just go full combustion. We have a full duration combustion with all stacks of our instant cast. We're going to do a bazillion damage. We're going to drop our meteor here as well. We're going to have another hard cast to extend this combustion. 
I'm stunned again. This is perfect. I could not ask for a better situation to be going on right now. Because what we really want is... Well, I'm going to tell you what we want, what we really, really want. What we really want is for me to get all of these. Because I can blink every single one of them. I, like, I never have to take damage from it. Just the initial damage, I guess. We have to switch back to Scorch because the double bloodlust is over. Soul Thorns. Okay, we do need to switch for that. Um, I need to refresh my... Actually spread this, and now I can switch back to this person. Okay, I did no damage to that. I'm thankful that my group was able to handle it. And a hard cast here. Forced to use Scorches. We're going to drop a Meteor in the middle of this. Just to maximize the use. Please put it on me. Nope, I didn't put it on me. I'm going to switch. We're going to combust. Try and help our friend out of this. Okay, we didn't have to put many Pyroblasts into that thing for it to die. These people hard switched. We're going to use our hard cast SKB here. Hank is really taking it like a champ. We haven't yet used any um, more of our two bops to get out of these, which is surprising to me. We're going to shift things power. We're going to AoE shield here to make sure this person survives. And we're going to build up an SKB with just these uh, casts. Scorch casts, so that I have more innocent casts available for this. Soul Thorns, we're going to drop a Meteor on that. That should help take care of it. They bubbled out of it because it was on the Paladin. It wasn't on the Rogue this time. That's good. Forced to use Scorches to fill up the SKBs. Uh, but it looks like we are basically done with the boss. Cool. I get to use my SKB on something else. That was pretty smooth. Would have been nice if these bops got used. We have a bop on this person. We don't actually have a bop on unknown part. Or do I just not track it? Yeah, they don't have a bop. That's surprising. Considering they're doing a tyrannical. Thingy thing with the stuffy stuff. What am I even trying to say? Hard casting here. Hopefully the Rune Weaver comes out. There we go. We got the Rune Weaver. Gonna use a comb- Oh no, dumbass! Why'd you use your combustion? You don't use combustion after the hard cast. I made a mistake. There, that's just a blatant mistake. But hey. Not a big deal. We're gonna decurse. It's not a huge deal. It's just trash and it's a fortified week. Or sorry, uh, <laughs> it's just trash on a fortified week. No, it's just trash on a tyrannical week, so I don't mind. We're going to remove that curse from ourselves. Lots of things to decurse in here, so I'm glad I have the talent. Looking at the Thorn Shaper, we're going to pull more than that. Okay, I'm okay with this. Into shifting power here. I want to kill the Thorn Shaper first because I really don't like that infected Thorn cast they do. Tried to interrupt the Thorn Shaper, I wasn't able to. We're going to switch to the Rune Weaver now. Okay, well, we have a PI. I'm going to drop a Meteor. I don't have a combustion going, so I really don't mind removing that curse for myself. We're going to kick that, and now we have to focus on Matron Brendel. Here's the alarm again. Dude, shut up. You're wasting my combustion! Stupid alarm. The alarm is for a meeting that got cancelled, so... There's that. I'm gonna use my combustion here, because my... SKB combustion ran out. And there we go, we have a... Another one available. Lots of kicks coming in from the rogue. I love to see that. Because I'm sure as hell slacking on the kick department. There we go. I'll get that kick though. Spread one final time. Switch to the captain because they're beefy. I have to admit this is so much nicer than spiteful. Oh my goodness. I hate spiteful so much. I can't even begin to explain to you how much I hate spiteful. Just trying to get some Scorches off of this guy and funnel them into the higher HP one. Now we can get Scorches from whoever. I got line sided by that mob, not because it's a PvP veteran, but because the tank is dragging it to the next group. I kind of, I can appreciate that, because it's going to die along the way. I'm going to use the AoE shield here. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to drop a Meteor. Are we going to combust before the Meteor lands? And we're just going to blast the bejesus out of them. Okay, 
I'm just going to interrupt that to make it join the rest of the group so I can spread my ignite more efficiently. Yeah, we have our hard cast available for this soul charmer. I did manage to spread my ignite one more time before my previous target deceased. I don't have a kick for that, unfortunately, so that's just not going to happen. Spread my ignite one more time because I've been building it up quite a bit. They're going to have to get moved soon, so I think they're going to be moved in this direction. I'll be getting scorches off of this one and funneling it into this. Scorches are now available. I'll kick the next thing that gets cast, which will be this. I have a SKB available. I guess I'll use that on this. I don't know. Maybe I should have saved it for the boss pull, because I actually had 50% 50, 50 mana. Mm, okay, well, we're going into the boss pull, so we're just going to look to... Put a focus on her. I don't have an interrupt available. I guess I'll combust right off the bat. I'll use my personal lust here. Looking like a good clear, actually. Trying to not get dumped into the ground by this. We're going to interrupt the boss on the other side. Make her shut up. Fireball is being cast here. We're going to shifting power. Need to step a little bit further away. It got removed. Thank you, priest. I'm going to try and not kill anyone with these notes that are trying to fall on me. I have a PI available. We're going to cast hard cast pyroblast. We have enough haste here. We're getting PIs on cooldown, and I like it. We're going to interrupt that. That Scorch better crit. It didn't crit. I wasted my thingy thing. Our fireball is our filler. I need to react more quickly to... These casts, I should be holding my, um, what am I trying to say? I should be holding my, uh, Phoenix Flames for when I'm in an actual combust, right? Like a long combust. That's when I need to focus all my damage. This is a long fight. So I have a crit available, but or um, hard cast available. We're going to do shifting power. I think she's going to join us now. Yes, she is. Okay, just trying to spread. Oh, our healer got taken out by something. That's unfortunate. We do have CRs available. We're going to switch to Lady Waycrest now because we can scorch her. And she does more damage anyway, so. And she has more health. Hard casting or pyroblast for this. Racking pain, we're going to interrupt, and we can drop a meteor onto both of them. Hopefully they don't get moved out of it. Saw the tank start moving, that's why I laughed a little bit to myself. Rebuff the priest. I'm being targeted by that. So far, I haven't really had to use my defensives much, because I've been able to avoid most of the damage, which is really nice. Like, I can decurse myself on the first boss. I didn't get many things put on me. Uh, they're both at, like, sub-million sub 2 million HP. I really don't want to use a combustion on something that's about to die, so I'm just going to use my SKB and then move on to this. Use AoE shield. See where the tank stops. Is that where they're stopping? No, this is where they're stopping. I'm going to drop our thingy thing. I'm not going to do much damage here. Okay, well, this might be a good opportunity to actually use um, living bomb or whatever. I'll drop a meteor. I do not want to use my combustion here. This is just like really flimsy little trash. I'd rather have it for the big burn on the next boss. Um, shifting power to get my bloodlust cooldown. <laughs> not too, not super happy about that. I'll tell you that much. Um, I need to really need to make. I've been talking about it for a while now, but I really need to make a weak card that's going to help me track when I can and can't use bloodlust on myself. Because I usually don't notice that you know my thing is. Because I got a minute now. I know he wants it on pull, but I cannot give it to him on pull because it's on, on cooldown. We can use combustion right off the bat. We're going to use our hard cast. Drop that meteor on top of this thing. We're going to pick this up because I got instant casts. I can just fit it in once this thing is dead. I can just toss that over there. 
Okay. And we got our hard cast here. Dread Essence, we're going to use our AoE shield and a defensive. Probably shouldn't have used the defensive. Okay, double bloodlust coming in for the group. I lowered it, so it's less than a minute with the thingy that I used. I'm going to knock this back. We're going to hard cast our combustion, or our thingy thing for the combustion. Still have the big haste left, so I can do fireballs. We're going to use a combustion here. Should be using my instant casts now. Using my instant cast, hard casting another combustion. I hope it's being cast on me. It is. I can blink it. Because the paladins are too busy pressing their buttons to press the other button that does the stun. I can switch to scorches now. I'm just going to just save my... I'm going to use this and invis to take less damage. I need to focus on using my actual defensives because I've been pretty bad about that. And the tank kicks that. We're going to shifting power one more time. Drop the meteor. Knock this thing because I don't want it to finish its cast. Being stunned, that's good. I don't have a kick. I do have a kick for this. Never mind. I lied. I'm going to use a shield again. That should be enough to keep me safe. And we can just hard cast here and finish off the boss. We have another combustion available if he for some reason lasts for a little bit longer. I'm being stunned again, but I can blink it. We have percent. We have the dungeon cleared. Two starred. A21. We got the dagger. Does the priest need the dagger? The priest has hero tier Iridal. They don't need this dagger. Just going to give the group a portal. I guess nobody wants it for anything. Being thanked for the portal. That's so nice. Thank you. Thank you for thanking me. <laughs> You're welcome is what I meant to say. <laughs> what the heck? Anyway, that felt like a good run. Uh, I'm going to check how well I did. 169k overall DPS. Paladin definitely blasting it with the AoE damage and the Paladin uh, Paladin privilege. Pretty happy with my damage considering I'm doing uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Ignite build. So my AoE is just going to be negligible. Quite happy with it. Let's take a look at our combustion uptime. Mm, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. 38%. We're getting there. We're getting there. I set myself a goal of 40% and I'm really, really happy with this. Uh, the PIs being funneled into us by the priest definitely helped. I think actually the paladin could have probably gotten more value out of them, but I'll take them. I'll be very happy and I'll take them. Uh, now, what, el what else do we have? What did I want to check? Right. I wanted to check individual boss DPS. So Gorak tool, boss fight, 187k DPS, top of the DPS. A little bit surprised there. 159k on Lord and Lady Waycrests because it is um there's less cleave in the fight and there's also no double bloodlust on that fight for myself i think i had a single bloodlust full bone glide we had double bloodlust 168k dps you can see how much the rogue had to suffer they only did 99k they do great on these other boss fights you can see that right but on the soul bone goliath they just get <laughs> they got bullied by the boss they constantly kept getting trapped and i didn't put enough dps into the trap because i didn't want to waste my ignite on the boss that i was building up so yeah i'm sorry rogue i should have gotten you out of that a little bit quicker and we had raw right before that another 160k DPS, pretty happy with that. And we have the Heartbane's Hearts Bane Triad, where I traditionally just do shit DPS because I forget the switch and there's some downtime between the switches and I have to do some decursing and whatnot. But for the most part, I just suck at this boss. I don't notice on time that I need to switch target. <laughs> pretty happy with the Waycrest Manor overall on my Ignite build for Tyrannical. Very, very happy. This is with the combustion uptime. This is a new best for me. So yeah. That's awesome. Uh, what key did I get from that? I got a 23 Galacron's Fall. Man, I'm kind of tired of the Galacron's Falls. I'm going to be honest with you. So I'm going to maybe look to join somebody else's key and then do this in another episode or something because I just did two Galacron's Falls in a row for the second dungeon in each of the episodes. So I'm just going to go ahead and do maybe a 22. I'm going to try and join a 22 or a 21 and keep clearing the 21s. So I'll talk to you in the next dungeon. Starting a 21 Tyrannical Ataldazar. We're going to give our group the shield as it resets the cooldown, and then we're going to get to work. We're going to go Razan first, Bloodlust Razan, and then clear our way left side up to the Priestess. Use Bloodlust on Priestess again. Okay, we're pulling all of this with Razan. Okay. I guess that's that's a thing. Move to Combustion, double Bloodlust, and just start blasting the bejesus out of Razan. Drop the meteor on top of him. Hard casting here. Trying to get as many as I can out. Okay. 
pretty amped up. Tank wants to drag over there, I guess. We're hard casting. We're going to AoE shield again because the tank is kind of struggling to stay alive. Probably not getting the amount of attention he needs from the healer, considering it's tyrannical. And this big boy hurts. There we go. We're going to drop a hard cast here. Actually, cancel the hard cast. We're going to use our shifting power, and then we're going to hard cast with a combustion in the middle of it. We have a night elf using shadow meld, which reset the pursuit on whoever it was. I think it was on the tank. This is good as it lets the tank continue the BSing instead of having to run away. Hard casting again. Don't want to waste any stacks of. Hot streak. I got tailed. I'm gonna blink before I hit that purple spot. We don't need more raptors. Terrifying visage coming through. We're back at it again. Spreading all over the place. Pursuit on me. I'm going to move away. And once he starts moving, I'm going to invis. That way I can just go straight back to DPSing, not worrying about that. Tank will have to take another dot because of that, but I'm that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make, right? And that's the boss dead. Very good. Decent DPS. Even with the padding at the start, I would have expected to do more, but... Not exactly perfect at Fire Mage, and it feels worse and worse the longer I play it, the more I realize I'm just not at good, not good at being a caster. I'll do that first interrupt here. Never mind. Demon Hunter's going to use the Silence Sigil on it. Probably shouldn't have done that. I'm going to tear up this, never mind. More interrupts from the demon hunters. I probably, you will notice me call them de demon death knights, <laughs> DKs, all the time. I don't know why, but my brain just refuses to correct that. We're mounting up. We're going to double pull here, most likely. I'm going to look to use my combustion. Looking at the confessor. Combustion here. I just want that Confessor dead. On some days, I'm going to drop my mirrors over here. I'm going to hard cast. I got my hard cast interrupted because my target died. <laughs> so what I did there was, uh, I guess it doesn't target them, but actually it targets a random person with the priest still standing outside of range we have a confessor again we're going to cc that and we're going to interrupt the other one with this knockback right here there we go it did go after one of my mirror images that's good it means that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing which is distracting it okay this one went on the priest again so i've been told that basically the um juggernauts will target a random ranged person. Sorry, this is taking a long time to explain, <laughs> to point out and talk about. I'm going to hope they go for me. Yeah, they did go for me. I was moving, so it didn't even hit me. Very good. Are we pulling this? I don't remember the route. We are pulling this. I'm looking at the confessor, but I'm going to, to target them with my thingy thing. I'm going to CC everything. Soul burns on me. I'm going to invis to prevent it. I'm going to knock this back to prevent the fiery enchantment. Looking at the confessor, he's going to try and do his Bonsamdi's thingy thing. Bonsamdi's safe zone. I don't know. Oh, that really hurt. I'm going to use a defensive here. Fiery enchantment is at it again. I managed to interrupt it. That was rough. One Samdi guy has been interrupted again. And use AoE shield here. Because I don't have my own. Okay. I'm not doing great on these pulls. Okay, we did manage to get an interrupt on that before it channeled any of the things. But yeah, I'm not doing great on these pulls because I'm like I'm trying to focus on actually interrupting things so we don't die. Confessor is being focused. Like I'm putting my focus target on the confessor. I don't care about that cast. I care about the other one that he's going to do. I'm looking for that interrupt now. And there's the interrupt. That's what I really, really wanted to take care of. Ooh, we just got double tapped here. Uh, I'm going to drop my thingy things. Okay, that got interrupted. We're going to 
So I'll steal this. I got charged because I'm too far away. I need to get this closer so that my mirror images actually bait them. That's unfortunate. No, oh, I can't actually jump on that. This is rough. This is a rough one. I don't like these juggernaut pulls. It's very rough for me. I don't know how to actually kite them properly. Okay, two charges coming in. I'm just going to keep moving. If I keep moving, he can charge at me. He'll just miss me. It would be a lot easier if the priest also moved in really, really close. Then I know who it's going to charge, and I don't have to try to guess which one it's going to charge. But then again, I should just probably be moving out, out on the side. Wasted my interrupt here. I do have my CC available, though. These charges really hurt. I wasn't paying attention to that. Lord knows why I'm casting this now. I'm still going to just keep moving because the Merciless Assault is coming through. It got interrupted by a stun. My DPS here is atrocious. Juggernaut is ready to do his charge. I'm going to start moving again. There we go. Managed to avoid that. We're going to hard cast at the Juggernaut. Just try to kick his ass. I need to freeze him. Never mind, I can't freeze him because raging. I forgot about raging being an affix. It doesn't really affect me all that much. Okay, we're going to combustion here. I think the tank wants to stop over there. Hopefully he does, so my meteor does some damage. Okay, we wanted the second boss. Bloodlust, that's not going to happen because we're too fast. Tank underestimated our damage, I guess. Priest getting his ass whooped. I'm just looking at the Juggernaut, right? I want the Juggernaut to die about the same time, even though it's beefier than the rest of the mobs. That's why I'm using my prio damage on it. I'm just going to let the Priest tank that, because he's going to heal himself, right? I mean, he's going to heal me, too. Hopefully, <laughs> you get what I mean. Let's resummon Danny. And let's fight the Priestess. We don't have a Bloodlust available, so maybe... Let's... Okay, so Tank says save Bloodlust for last boss. I'm going to use my personal lust here just for myself. Freeze this thing. I want it to be killed by my Meteor or hit by my Meteor, I guess I should say. We can switch back to El Jefe. El Jefita, I don't know. Getting ready to step into this. I'm going to step into this now. Reset my blood, our Bloodlust, my Combustion. Try and get those out. I think I just ate some of that crap off the ground. I ran into one of them. That's unfortunate. I really shouldn't have done that, obviously. I'm going to use my shifting power here. And get my hard cast out. Switch to that. DK's got it covered. We're going to dispel the boss. I don't even know what that thing does. I just know that I can, so it's probably useful if I do. Uh, I keep wasting fire blasts like that. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to use my big defensive here. Transfusion coming through, doing shit tons of damage. This boss really is very easy. I think we get to ignore the last add. I am unable to not cleave it, though, so I can't really do much about that. Hank's getting his ass kicked, however. That should be the boss dead now, though. And there we go. Yeah, nice. We didn't we didn't need to switch the Yad, which I'm, I'm happy about, because that, that means we get to do more damage. Directed the boss, get it done a bit more quickly. Cool. Ooh, don't want to get hit by that. Looking at these augers. Gonna drop this. Hard cast. Combust during the hard cast. I know that we're skipping the middle because the tank licked, licked, <laughs> linked a route. He didn't lick a route. I don't know. Maybe it did. What do I know? Hard casting again at one of the augers. Unfortunate that I didn't get to spread the ignite from that big cast. Working on another ignite, big ignite here. I'll hard cast at the screamer. It's a good target to hard cast at. I thought I was hard casting at the screamer. I was kind of just standing there watching. Not exactly great for my DPS, but you got to do what you got to do. We're using silent sigils on these guys instead of bigger groups. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Very careful, careful here not to overlap or, or not to pull those guys. 
hard casting yet again. I don't want to use combustion on this group, honestly. I'm not going to use combustion right here because this thing's about to die and there's no reason for me to do so. Okay. Trying to blink over there to get there a little bit sooner. We're going to drop... Mm. We're going to combust. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Try to sped that ignite as much as we can. We have a hard cast available. We're going to use the hard cast. And once the hard cast hits, then we'll use our uh, fire blast. That way we can spread that ignite to the other target. Make sure that it's burning up for all that damage. Beautiful. Okay, we got us two witch doctors. I'm saving my AoE CC. For when they do the, um, the zone. And I don't want to use my... Meteor until I get that zone interrupted. There we go. There's the meteor. I'm tunneling the casters because I want the casters to die first. There we go. Just need the casters to die first. And then we can probably even move on to the next group, to be honest with you. Oh no, a tank wants to skip next group. Okay, I should not have knocked back there because I just knocked this thing back into the uh, bulwark. We cannot. Um, interrupt them once they're low because of raging. I just, I guess I'll just hard cast this to not waste it. There we go. That guy's dead. We're going to trap this or prison, imprison this thing, the witch doctor, and then we can hug to the left and skip this group because we have 100%. There's no reason for us to keep doing this. Okay. Nipple. The DPS is spread out. Nope. Okay, ready. And let's get started. We're going to combust and just blast the bejesus out of these. We'll put a focus on this guy. Drop a meteor on this thing. The reason I put a focus on it is because I would like to make sure that... I can interrupt it if it gets out of range from the tank or something stupid like that. I need to kind of chill it on the DPS front, I think. Okay. Helping out that person. Okay, I can finish. I can finish. Okay, phase two has been entered. We're targeting the boss. We're going to shifting power here. Hard casting. Now we have plenty of stacks of our instant casts to just tunnel into the boss like crazy. We have a combustion coming up, but I'm going to first do my hard cast, then at the end of the hard cast, I'm going to activate my combustion, get my full time of the combustion. I don't have any instant casts really available for this combustion, but that's okay. We'll just spam Scorch. Another hard cast available. Double pyro this. I'm gonna drop a meteor on top of him where he's going. I hope I'm not standing in too much crap. I'm having a hard time telling when I'm actually standing in the crap. Because the green on my screen doesn't really register properly, it seems. For my brain, I mean. Shifting power here. Hard cast my pyro blast. I'm standing in shit. I shouldn't be standing in shit. I'm standing in shit, Vlad. Shit is not your friend. Okay, I need to move over here. I am going to stand in some shit, unfortunately. I'm gonna give a AoE shield here for the group. Why not? He's almost dead. I'm not gonna combustion him. I wanna have combustion available for when we get to Yasma. We have double bloodlust available for Yasma as well. We're gonna wait for that prison. We're gonna scooch, 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 like that. Ooh, 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 that I think I almost pulled there. <laughs> that would have been really shitty. But yeah, we're ready for Yasma. Like every group, 15 minutes, you make it to Yasma, and then you wipe on Yasma three times. We're hoping that the group is aware of how to start. I want to do the strat where you start in the back of the room. That'd be nice. First soul in back of the room, right? Just, just so that we know that we want to drop it back there. We want to drop it like it's hot. On 
marker. Yeah. Okay, that works. Let's do marker or that side, doesn't matter. Whichever's closer. We're gonna close this and we're ready with double bloodlust. Stack on rev. Reveria, okay, put a triangle, put a star on them, whatever. I keep putting stuff. Star, there you go, you can have your star. Okay, and combustion and double bloodlust, and I'm just gonna start moving there immediately. We really want, really want to blast the bejesus out of her. Hard cast. Drop a meteor, freeze them. They instantly need to die watching our step because the spiders are dropping on us. Shifting power here with a bunch of stacks. We have our hard cast available. Somebody ate one of the spiders, that's fine. Spiders are delicious. You leave a, you eat a lot of them in your sleep, don't you? <laughs> That's the popular myth. Okay, we have another place to stack here. Trying to double pyro up in this bitch. You want to stack there? Okay. I got another fireball available. Or fireball. Thingy thing available. We're going to drop one of these meteors right here. And combust, and I'm gonna switch to boss because those are basically dead from my meteor and the demon hunters beating the shit out of them. Somebody stepped into one of those. I'm trying to avoid these as best I can. A healer just went down. We don't have a CR available. This is gonna be very spicy. Very spicy indeed. Hopefully, someone has a CR available. With the form. In the form of those. What are they called? New ones dropping, new spiders dropping, racking pain on the warrior. Warrior can maybe spell reflect that. That would be ideal. She's getting close to scorch range. I just need to stay away from these. I don't know where we're supposed to drop now. Right here. Okay. I'm going to freeze them. I'm going to drop a meteor. I'm going to freeze them again so they stand in the meteor. I need a shield and hard cast and Yasma. As long as she doesn't racking pain me, I should be fine. I'm going to invis her. She can't racking pain me. Okay, I have a bunch of defensives going. I should be okay. Don't have any way to self-heal. I do have my cheat death available. I'm trying to hard cast here, trying to not get killed by the spiders. Not a very good situation for me, I gotta admit. As long as she doesn't racking pain me, I don't care. We have another one getting dropped. She needs to die. I can't make it there in time, so I'm going to drop mine over here. Freeze it. And try to just kill it before I get killed. Boss is at 4 million health. I'm hoping the group can take it out. The priest dying really threw a wrench in our plans, I think. Uh, it was a little bit messy, but we got the kill. I guess after release, nobody here can res me. Not too proud of my overall. A combustion, probably not the best uptime. 37% though. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I like the ignite build. Let's see what kind of loot we get. If we do get any loot, I don't get any loot. That's fine. And drop a portal to Valdraken. They're already casting their heartstones though. I think this is going to be the end of the video. I'm kind of okay with my, uh, combustion uptime being 37% because I actually do recall actively saving combustions and SKBs for different pulls, which lowers my uptime basically. Basically. But you could also make the argument that it increases my uptime because I'm not wasting any of it between pulls. So, like, I don't finish a pull and have a bunch of combustion still left over that I need to use up. Anyway, let's take a look at the boss fights. Overall, my DPS, not very impressive. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I got 176k overall. We're going to take a quick look at the... <clears throat> sorry, Jesus Christ. I'm losing my voice because I've been recording for a, quite a few hours now. I just have a lot of failed runs. 146k on Yasma because I kind of kicked the bucket before the end there. Uh, Volkal, I did 145k, kind of matching everyone else. 150 52k here, which I'm not too proud of to be completely honest with you, but I didn't really get the cleave as much on the on the ad. So Spirit of Gold, 19%, Spirit of Gold, 24%, and I have oh I have 20%. Okay, okay. So I did manage to get quite a bit of cleave in. I'm underestimate I'm underestimating the ignite cleave that I do. And we have Razan. Razan, I know I did okay, like 228k. For me, from how I play and for how my skill level with Fire Mage, I'm kind of okay with 228k. I did get every single uh 
PI under the sun, I feel like, which I'm very grateful for, but I really wish they'd give it to someone else because Lord knows I am just not going to be a good PI target on this class because I do not play this class well. Anyway, we're going to switch these to current so I don't forget. That is pretty much it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. Let me know what you like about it in a comment down below. I'd also like to remind you to leave a comment as to what you think about how I've been clearing keys in this series. So the whole thing where I push up to a 10, clear all 10s off camera, push up to a 15, do the 15, clear all other 15s off camera, and then for 18 and for 20, and I tried to do it for 21. Let me know how you feel about that. I'd love to know because I'd like to, you know, adapt. If people are not enjoying this format, I'd like to change it. If people are enjoying this format for the most part, I'd like to keep it. I'm also trying to keep the series a bit shorter. That is why I'm doing it. If you want a more detailed explanation as to why I'm doing it, you can look at the start of the video. But anyway, if you had fun, make sure you subscribe because there's more episodes and series coming. And if you're feeling particularly generous, you can become a channel member. Channel members get guaranteed replies to their comments and they get nice little shout outs like control alt Cory got today. But as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.